It's nice to meet in the uh, University of Lapland. You've been trying some math games uh, today. This course was about using games in uh, mathematics class. What do you think about this? Have you used any games in your in your mathematics class when you've been a, a child? Um, maybe a little, but not much. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't remember. Maybe there was like few games, but mm. But not that much. Well, I liked the idea of using mm. games because, yeah, it makes like learning more fun. Yeah, it's, it's really motivating. Is there any connection between mathematics and games in general? How do you see it? In many games you have a cube, so you have to throw some numbers, yeah, so it's, it's very general. Mm. And what are those things in the games which can help you to have a, another relationship to, to mathematics? You have to know rules. Yeah, rules. Yeah, and in many games you have to count numbers, you have to know numbers. Mm. Yeah, and you have to understand the concept. And many times you learn this like problem solving when you do the game. You you have your strategies and you usually have to do it by step by step. Mm. Yeah. You played these games uh, alone, but you were also supporting uh, each other. Uh, what do you think about this? Hmm. I think learning is uh, easier and better with friends mm. when you have different ideas yeah and if you have some problem you can discuss it i really like that we both had our games but then we were on different levels and like we were like kind of doing it together but alone plus with this you could also we could be doing it together too so and i have seen that uh, some of the problems wasn't easy <laughs> but you were keep working on it yeah. in, in the game. How is it in, in, in mathematics? Hmm. Well, in mathematics you maybe can solve a problem like in one minute and you have to try multiple times mm. and see it from the different angles. And in this game you really have to <laughs> do it. You have to try like multiple times if it didn't the blocks didn't fit there and but when you got it you were like so happy and motivated to go to the next level and you didn't give up as i <laughs> yeah. saw why, why? <laughs> it, it's really frustrating when you have to take all out and then start from the uh yeah mm. start start again yeah from the beginning but, but you kept doing it. Yeah. Uh, why? <laughs> no, I why? don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's really fun. And yeah. when you got it right, it's so... Uh, yeah. yeah, it's so nice when you get yeah. it right. And you just did you want to give up. Mm -hmm. I don't know yeah. why <laughs> yeah. Why it's so important to get yeah. it done. Yeah. You just can't leave the blocks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you want to finish. <laughs> so. <laughs> what do you think about connection between uh, gaming and math learning? Is there any connection, really? Well, yeah, I think so. I think the most important thing is maybe the motivation it gives. So, so if there are good games like which teach mathematics, it motivates the children to learn. It's for sure a fun aspect to learning, and 
as you can tell, a lot of games have like mathematical integrations in them as well. So it kind of goes both ways. You try this uh, Montreal blocks and you already mentioned a few areas uh, what it can develop. Uh, can you su summarize it? It teaches or maybe helps uh, students to recognize the geometrical shapes and maybe even the accounting the area of things or putting it into perspective. Maybe problem solving in general. So mathematics is not the most popular uh, subject in schools, let's, let's admit that, yeah. right? Uh, that's uh, true. However, uh, most of the kids are happy to, to play with games. And there is this connection between the games and mathematics. How you could explain this, this paradox? That on the one hand, mathematics is playful, but it's very boring uh, in the school. So <laughs> why, why is this? Well, maybe it's just how how teachers and schools make it. So if mathematics classes are only paper of writing, yeah, writing in your teacher, teach, teaching in the front of the class, so yeah, it might be very boring for the child. So. Yeah, yeah. so maybe the teacher should take a bit more effort and try to make the uh, lessons more playful and implement these games that we have already because it's not that hard. Yeah. yeah, maybe some students have negative experiences or presuppositions of mathematics and then if you just do boring stuff and, and exercises, then maybe they reinforce the negative image of mathemati mathematics. You are going to be teachers and uh, you, you have these experiences in the uh, university. Uh, does it uh, inspire you to do things differently like it was done with you in the school? Did you make any decisions during these classes that, okay, I will change this and that? If you, if you made any of this, that what, what you would do differently yourself when, when you become a teacher? Well, I think I'm going to at least try and implement some more uh, digitalization in the math class and try to take advantage of these games that we have and that are being developed. Uh, because I think there's going to be so much more in the future. I think there there's a great opportunity in these games. At least when I was in school, mathematics was was competitive, so there were like a page of exercises and you yes. do them as fast as you can and, and so the good ones were doing the fast and they were feeling good and the bad ones were like maybe like group works and like playing games and to make a like positive image of yeah, mathematics. Uh, like the different exercises, so yeah. it's not all about who's the fastest. Also, I think there's now a lot of programming or at least some programming yes. Uh, related to math classes in elementary school, so I think that's something we have to think about uh, teaching in the future as well. Yeah, maybe also like implementing the stuff we learn at the class to real life. So mm -hmm. a lot of times you would feel mm -hmm. kind of like, why am I learning this? This is so out of so, context. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, I'm not going to need this anywhere. Yeah. So maybe if the teacher could like implement it to the children's real life. Real life, real life, real life, real life. Here we are in the University of Lapland, uh, together with Anna Maya uh, Partanen and Farida Nurmeshana, and I'm uh, Christoph Feinvesi. We had a session today about mathematical games, and this session was included uh, in a course. Could you please say a few words about this course, where this uh, session took place, and why games in mathematics class? 
Of course, there are many reasons. There is research done on what could be the profits of using games. I firstly think that you can get uh, some refreshment for practicing. Games sometimes offer motivation and uh, other games have other benefits. There are many features that they can bring into mathematics education. Farida, uh, you came from Indonesia. How often teachers are using games in Indonesian mathematics classes? Oh, well... It's a little bit difficult to explain about how often because um, uh, in Indonesia the situation is quite a little bit varied. The variety is quite big, but I think um, uh, the number is still low uh, when the teachers using games for introducing mathematical concepts. <coughs> That's why I'm as a researcher here. I would like to um, promoting using game for teaching mathematics and then designing uh, this game as so manipulative also in the classroom so the students will be much more uh, having fun while they are learning mathematics. Uh, there are, for example, connections with, with the arts, mm -hmm. uh, like this Mondrian Blocks uh, game. You also have your own set. Uh, you, you tried it uh, mm -hmm. very newly. What were your first impressions uh, about art and mathematics combinations? first of all, and then art and mathematics combination in this format. It, it was a little surprise that you can connect that idea of a quality art uh, and uh, this kind of game where you arrange blocks. But, uh, we soon developed uh, many ideas what kind of uh, mathematics this may develop intuitively in your mind, uh, but also ideas how to, for example, construct a workshop. Uh, how this could be connected to studying art. But, and also this game, you know, it develops your skills of problem solving. So it's a combination of many things and it develops your mental skills. And maybe you can see uh, mathematics, like the, the area of rectangles and also the unit of area here, but also the artistic uh, connections. Different parts is like um, science, mathematics, so I think. And you also have a very critical students that can have some point of view and inspired by the game so they can also create another games mm. for teaching another mm. content using what we already mm. Mm. Uh, got this in this workshops. Very interesting. Mm. Mm. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you.